officers still out there right now in force and CBS 4's Oralia Ortega is actually with City of Miami Police as they prepare to weather out this storm. She spoke to Commander Freddy Cruz. Let's see how they're preparing at Miami PD. Hi, I'm Oralia Ortega. I'm here at City of Miami Police Headquarters and there's a lot of activity going on here and we're going to check in with Commander Freddy Cruz. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Oralia, and good morning to everyone out there. Um, yes, as you uh, mentioned, we're here at the City of Miami Police Department's headquarters and actually the logistics center. Uh, this is where it all takes place, where we actually are logistically uh, feeding our officers, making sure that they're provided with water. Uh, as you know, yesterday we activated uh, what we call Alpha Bravo mode, where we've gone into 12 hour shifts and all days off vacation. I've been camped, and all our officers will be in uniform. Um, uh, many of them will be answering calls for service. They will be in a special response platoon. Uh, in the event that we have any major incidents, they are on standby. However, we got to make sure that officers are fed. We've been giving them hot meals. We have here uh, a bunch of sandwiches and brown bags, uh, protein bars that we're providing for them. And we want to make sure that, again, our officers, due to the fact that they're going to be away from home, we want to make sure that they're well taken care of while they're providing a service for the community. Uh, I mentioned uh, that 12-hour uh, shifts. We don't know where the storm is going. We don't know how it affects South Florida. But a message that I want to give everyone out there, if in the event that it affects us and there are power, power outages, please stay at home. Wait for the public service uh, to do what they need to do. Our officers will be directing traffic. They will be out there. But again, stay at home. We have many people that like to go out after a storm, and that is one of the main uh, the, uh, the most dangerous pivotal point is not during the storm, but it's after the storm where there's down power lines, there's down trees, and people get curious, and that's where we've seen a lot of injuries. So please stay home, let our officers work, let the public service work, and stay informed. Watching TV, listening to the radio, seeing what's out there, and, and again, remember, we're out here for you. Yeah, and also reserve those emergency calls for 911. Don't call, call 311 for other information. Absolutely. 311 will provide you with all the information in the event that you have an emergency. Obviously, the kind of one one. Uh, right now, I, again, we're still monitoring the storm. If you haven't prepared, it's not too late. Prepare. Have, make sure you have everything ready. If you don't feel safe at home, go to a family member's house, a neighbor's. Uh, but again, one thing that you can rest assured is that the police and fire services are here, ready and available, and we're working for you. All right, so let's take a look at what some of the workers are here uh, putting together for these officers. Everything is closed, of course, because yes. of the storm. So. Officers obviously they need food. Exactly. And here's an example of, you know, with the brown bag. I, I was very curious as soon as I saw them, I wanted to see what was inside. We have potato chips, we have ham and cheese sandwiches, protein bars. And again, this is just a, a small example. This is just a snack uh, we've been providing our officers. We actually provided them with earlier in the evening ground beef, chicken. And you, again, we want to make sure our officers are taken care of and they're given a good meal so they can go out there and provide that quality service as we do every day. Uh, to our citizens. We have uh, numerous bottles of water in the event that uh, they have to direct traffic tomorrow on a hot uh, summer day and we want to make sure they're hydrated and again this is just a clear example of what we got going on here. And I saw some officers out and about patrolling the area but is there a point where they are going to come inside come you know to, to a shelter? Yes. It, uh, once we hit 39 mile an hour winds, our officers are directed to stay inside. There are some officers uh, during this Alpha Bravo that actually might actually ride the storm either here at the station or at home. Now, once it becomes safe, then they either go home or they report to work. And again, a, a message to the public, with in the event that uh, there are 40 mile an hour winds, there might be a delay in police services. That's another reason why I ask everyone to stay home. Don't go out to the street, because if you do call 911, there might be a delay, and you might be putting yourself in harm's way uh, as there's a delay in fire and police services. All right. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Back to you.